My name is uh, Monica Ene Pietrosanu. I am an engineering director with um, the Intel Software and Services Group, and um, I've been working um, on uh, enabling and delivering software uh, for the new data center architectures for the past years. Uh, I am in the software engineering field for about 20 years, and uh, my team at Intel is uh, very involved in the Node. JS project as well as in the Node Foundation. We are part of the uh, benchmarking committee uh, in the Node.js Foundation. Um, Intel is also part of the um, Node.js board and uh, we are a platinum uh, uh, sponsor for the, the foundation. Intel's involvement in the Node community is benefiting developers and end users. First, Intel has been involved uh, in Node.js for quite a while. Uh, we have a team who's working on V8 for more than eight years, and this team has contributed more than a thousand patches to V8, uh, is the number two contributor after Google. And more recently, with Node.js um, evolving, uh, we, we started to contribute to Node Core uh, with uh, performance-related uh, patches. Uh, more than this, we are seeing performance evolving. The way performance is measured uh, is evolving um, as Node is um, uh, being used more and more in the cloud and the new data center use, use cases. Uh, initially, Node is being used on the front end, but now we are seeing it be peeling into the back end as well. So performance is not a nice to have, it's a must. And uh, more than this, the way it's been measured so far was uh, quite unrealistic. We had like single threaded um, workloads, we, we were running on a single node. That is not uh, uh, reflecting the, the reality. So what uh, my team has been doing was uh, working with the Node community um, and our industry partners in developing some new measures of performance. One of them was uh, announced uh, last year at Node Interactive in um, Austin. Uh, it's called uh, Node DC EIS, DC from data center, EIS from uh, the employee information service. It's simulating uh, an employee information uh, service. Uh, it's a multi-node, it's a three-tier workload. Uh, running on multiple nodes and can run in multiple configurations, simulating the way node is being used in the data center um, these days and providing more realistic measures of performance. Another uh, development, we, I'm just coming out from the session where we announced a new use case that um, uh, we developed um, um, together with uh, Walmart um, using their electrode infrastructure and uh, simulating the server-side rendering. Uh, so we call that Node DC, same data center, uh, SSR from server-side rendering, uh, which is at an alpha phase, but we just open sourced it, looking for um, community contributions and feedback. And we are looking to evolve that uh, into a, a standard benchmark for, uh, for Node.js. One other way um, that Intel is contributing to the open source um, community and Node.js um, uh, development is uh, by um, catering to the performance needs uh, of this ecosystem. Uh, we, on one hand, we are working with the benchmarking uh, committee, as I mentioned. Um, in parallel, we are also um, exposing a performance portal, which is running um, on the latest Intel platforms uh, and is uh, providing uh, nightly performance results um, on uh, Node.js, on the major runtimes, Python, uh, Go, HHVM, and so on. Uh, that portal can be accessed by each of you in real time uh, as http languagesperformance.intel.com. And uh, it's also sending emails, nightly emails, to the community members so you can subscribe to a mailing list uh, and um, learn how performance for Node is evolving day by day. What excites me most about the future of Node.js and related technologies is lots of things. First, I'm very excited about the present. I think Node has been um, uh, like a child that did grow in one year, like the others in 10, uh, like the stories tell. Uh, I have, um, in my team at Intel, we are looking into several uh, runtimes and languages, and Node has been the, the terrible child growing very fast. So I'm very excited that um, uh, the Node community has doubled, the number of contributions have doubled over the, the past years. Everything has kind of doubled and uh, grown uh, at an accelerated pace. Uh, more than this, uh, what um, uh, I'm excited when we talk about the future uh, is this accelerated pace to innovation. Uh, Node is enabling developers uh, to bring innovation to market in a very fast way. Uh, you don't have to spend months. You can have your application rolled out there uh, in a matter of days. 
and time to market is an unbeatable value proposition.